and the greatest and the most mysterious thing is I wonder how do I live with this disease side by side. Welcome back to AFOX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Journalist Kimani Mbogo has come out to let Kenyans know that he is okay and that he is in hospital receiving treatment. For those who might not be aware what had been happening, Kimani Mboga was seen speaking incoherently. He was on live stream and he did not seem okay. Um, he also dared those who sent him money to come get it. This raised a lot of concerns among netizens who are watching all this on live stream. Some felt maybe it's spiritual, others felt that he's pretending. Some also felt that maybe this is what he goes through when he has um, mental episodes. Others were like, maybe he forgot to take his medication, and that is why we are getting to see him this way. Yes, <laughs> I, know. I have believed you. I have believed you, Daddy. Here you are. Daddy. Now this went on for six hours from matatus to walking in the streets, talking to himself. People started getting very concerned, asking why is his family? Can someone go check on him? Is he really okay? Anyway, Sokimani came out to not only apologize, but also to let netizens get to know that this is the other side that he battles with. There is the good side of him, which many people get to see on social media, but there's also the other side he battles with mentally. And that was the side that netizens got to witness. So before we get to hear his side, let us get to see his family coming through. We got to see them ensuring that he's taking his medication. So let's get to see that before we get to Kimani Mbogwa. Our brother is okay. Our brother Keman is okay now. People love you, you see. People love you so much. Yeah, right? They do. They do. They do, they do. They do love you. This they, 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 they care. And your dad cares. That's why he's here, right? Right? Everybody say they love you, okay? They do for you. He's good, man. He's good yeah. content. Right? You see, yeah, you see. see. <laughs> so that is very good content. Yes. Comes. <laughs> 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 Where is your father? 
So perhaps those who felt that he was pretending or wanted more money, clearly you can see that this is a mental breakdown. He is not okay. His family was there to ensure that he was taking medication. And after a while, he was able to now speak to Kenyans and apologize and also just let them know this was a side that he was battling. I want us to see that. Hello, everybody. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> the point of yesterday and all of those gimmicks that I have done was to show you guys how deep and dark being mentally ill is. How you hear about billions of voices in your head and somehow you still live <laughs> every day that I wake up and I'm alive I can I can I can, <laughs> I can exist existing is is a privilege Existing is a privilege. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much, TikTok Kenya. <laughs> For being the best people. You guys watched as I... I'm okay. I'm okay. I have not lost my mind. <laughs> That's just the other side of me. There are two Kimani's there. There are two Kimani's. There's the bipolar Kimani and there's the Kimani now who's speaking to you now. And those those are those are the two people that live in my head. <clears throat> it's just mental illness. There's there's nothing uh Nothing special. I just I just wanted to show everyone what mental illness looks like. It, it's not glamorous. It's not. Stop glamorizing mental illness. It's not a good thing. Mental illness is is torture without end. <laughs> and the greatest and the most mysterious thing is I wonder how do I live with this disease side by side? How am I able to be that person who's calling? Uh, let me apologize to people I, I mentioned their names yesterday. I mentioned Kariwahu. I don't I've never met Kariwahu. I don't I don't know who she is. She's she's beautiful. I think the most beautiful girl on this internet. Uh, yeah, that's every, everybody can see that. Uh, for any other person whose name I mentioned, just know you're in my head for some reason, <laughs> and. I love you. I love you all. Um, and uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. And you've had it from Kimani. Many people actually encouraged him, letting him know that he needs to take his medication on time. He needs to keep active as well. That is keeping himself busy, having a great support going for therapy sessions as well so that he can be able to talk to someone when he's having some low moments. I also did see a couple of comments of people sharing their experiences of having family members who are going through bipolar disorder and how even some have lived over 20 years taking their medication, having healthy uh, relationships, whether it's work, family. And they did also encourage Jimani that he can do it. He only needs to take a day at a time. And I actually read one comment from someone who said something very important and that imagine if in a normal situation where you are stressed, perhaps broke, 
and you deal with it in your own way imagine someone who has mental illness trying to deal with difficult situations they can end up being erratic they have no control of their emotions at that particular moment so let us practice compassion for those who are going through mental illness it's a very difficult long journey very difficult for families as well we have covered um, Kimani's stories a couple here from way back when he was in Madare and his mom even came out putting out a statement so it's a very long journey we have seen the family going through it with him uh, netizens are also witnessing it and it's not easy at all let us continue to keep him in our thoughts and prayers we're up to date thanks so much for watching subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be the first to be notified once you have any new updates i'll catch you on the next one bye bye